While causal loops can provide a useful visualization of dynamic systems, they become more powerful through the application of digital technologies to turn these models into dynamic simulations. Simulations allow us to model real-world processes over time and gain greater insight into the problems than static models can provide, especially in the interactions between systems. In the resources, you will find a number of simulation models to explore, but we will look here at just two. Firstly, a simulation of infections. We start by choosing three variables, the total number of people, how often they come into contact with each other, and how difficult the virus is to spread. This is then simulated on a graph of sick people over time. The advantage of a simulation is that we can quickly change our variables and see the effect of such changes on our system. Here we see the causal loops that the model uses and the stock and flow model involved. This is a more complex simulation based on a famous experiment conducted in a Stanford University psychology class in which participants played the role of guards or prisoners. For the guards, we have two variables, guard distrust of the prisoners and their willingness to repress prisoners. For the prisoners, we have three variables, their solidarity to stick together, their fear of the guards, and their willingness to resist. It is often useful for students to try and predict what will occur in their simulations before running them. When we now run the simulation, we see our predictions versus the model results. The causal loop presented here has five elements. But this is just one loop in a more complex model that contains several reinforcing and balancing loops. Such a simulation would have assisted before undertaking this experiment. The real experiment had to be called off just a short time through as the guards began treating their prisoners more and more harshly in a reinforcing feedback loop. Simulation modeling is a good example of how digital technologies can help us understand the complexity of the real world and support the development of student system thinking, where they can see and understand the various interconnected systems involved in any real world problem and seek out the ways in which they can develop solutions to such problems.